Well, hello, Kobe Time Friends. How y'all doing? It's me, John. Mama's over here for Coffee Time with John and Mama. And it's 6 o'clock, and you all know what that means. It means it's time for our cook-along, and we're doing quite easy cook-along tonight. Even if you didn't know about it, you may have everything you need for this wonderful recipe. It's a two-biscuit. Mm -mm, that ain't what it is. It's a two-ingredient biscuit. Uh, Mama's got, are going to wrap ours up with breakfast tonight because we love breakfast for supper. So we're going to fix some sawmill gravy, milk gravy, and we're going to have those two-ingredient biscuits, and we're going to have a little bit of scrambled eggs. You're going to do any kind of meat, Mama? We'll put uh, uh, sausage in the pro Grill. You're going to put some sausage on? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to just have a little breakfast for supper tonight. So, right. here. That's all I'm greasing my pan. She's greasing her pan, getting ready for these two ingredient biscuits. And then we're just using a cast iron griddle. But you can use whatever you've got. Whatever you always fix your biscuits in. If you don't have these two ingredients, don't worry about it. Just cook with us. Uh, so we're going to have... Two ingredient biscuits. This is on page 31 of our church cookbook. Um, it's two cups of self rising flour. It's one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream or heavy cream. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of difference. I did have someone send me a thing today. You can make it if you don't have it out of whole milk and unsalted butter. And I think it was, I won't even guess at the ingredients, uh, but of the measurements, but that was an ingredient you can make. Y'all can look it up on the internet if you if you want to hurry and make you some heavy whipping cream. So we're going to preheat our ovens at 475. So if you're cooking along with us tonight, turn your oven on 475. And you're going to lightly cover your bread pan with butter or short, in which Mama's already ahead of the game, and she's got the griddle covered. And then we're going to mix the two ingredients until blended, then we're going to pour them out, pat them up, to gently pat them, it says, to one half inch thick. And then we're gonna cut them out and place them on the pan. And we're gonna bake for 10 to 12 minutes. And that was at 475. That's super simple, easy. And it's in our cookbook tonight. Wait a second, Mama. Okay. Mama gets all uh, excitable. Um, so what we're gonna do tonight, we're gonna do the same thing as we did last cooking along. We're gonna be giving away church cookbooks throughout the program tonight. And only if I call your name live on here will I need you to PM me your name and your address so we can get it sent to you. That's not a restoration. Last time a lot of people sent me their name and address. It'll only be the people I write down in the book that I'll need. So we'll be doing this. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask Alexa over here. Alexa, set 10 minute timer. She may do it for us. Whenever the timer goes off, then we will, who are the person right there on comments, I'll call your name and that's the winner. That's as random as I can make it and as easy as I can make it instead of me just calling out names. Because inevitably someone may get upset because sometimes y'all get upset when we don't say hi. <clears throat> Folks, I don't see everything y'all see and every comment don't pop up for me. Uh, I try to say hi to everybody, but please don't be offended. Uh, you know, you just try not to get offended that easily because it's not intentional. It's not intentional. Someone told me, uh, I got a, kind of a nasty uh, message today. The lady said I was rude because I hadn't answered all of her questions in the PM. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but we get hundreds of PMs every day, private messages every day. So I just don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I wish I did. I do have some auto replies set up. So if you ask specific questions, they will auto reply, and I hope that you know helps out a lot. Uh, we don't have it's just me and Mama that does the messages. I don't have an admin that does message. I have admins that help with other things, and we are very grateful. But as far as having an admin to answer all of your questions, sorry, we don't. We're a small operation, it just us. So please don't get offended over that. Um, if if you know if it becomes a problem, I can stop the PMs, but I like having that line of communication. But at the same time, you know, if it becomes if it becomes a real issue, we'll just won't do messages. Um, a lot of most pages don't for that reason because you just can't answer them all. Um, and we apologize if you do feel that we've offended you, but we're not meaning to be rude. Okay, let's get started. Mama's putting the sausage in the Micro Pro. Mom, you gonna bring that over and let them see it? Mm -hmm. Some of y'all had questions the other night about this right here. This is heavy whipping cream, but if you've got whipping cream or anything in that category or someone said something about you can use 
half and half and add milk to it or something too. So here's just frozen sausage patties put in the micro grill. We're going to start these. They'll be doing that in a flash. We won't start them right now because it'll take us a little longer to get the meal together. <clears throat> Mama's doing the honors tonight. Let me check one second. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. I wish she did it. And <laughs> plug her mama and see if she needs to reset. Sometimes the electricity flashes. We don't have the best service here. Uh, sometimes, just the way it goes. Uh, looks like we got several people on here ready to cook. I hope y'all are. If you're not cooking, just enjoy it. Uh, if you want to fix it later, you'll know how. A lot of you folks, one of the reasons we picked this this is because it only has to cook such a short amount of time while on the live. The other reason is. Like Reconnecting. Um, a lot of y'all said, I don't know how to make biscuits. I think y'all do. You just don't have the confidence yet. You're not ready to say you can. So what I want y'all to do is take this first step with the two ingredient biscuits and then go back and watch some of our other videos and make them like we normally do. And we'll make them again just to show you again, uh, probably before too long. So enjoy this process. Don't be worried. Don't be nervous. Sometimes bread is a little overwhelming, but biscuits is one of those good old fashioned things that's so easy and everybody really can do it. Uh, it says, let's see what y'all are saying. Alexa. Alexa. Ain't it the truth? Every time you, need, you can't get anything to work. Technology and I never have been friends. In fact, sometimes we're barely on speaking terms. Uh, and that's the way it's always been. Alexa. Set timer for 10 minutes. She usually tells me she said it, but she ain't doing nothing tonight. We'll have to come up with something else if she doesn't do it. Mama's got another timer here, I think. Or Mama will put something in the microwave. I sure. Uh, she don't want to work tonight, folks. We'll get her set in a minute. Let's see what y'all are talking about. Mama's going to fiddle with her here and see if she's coming on. She was on. It looked like she was doing good, but no words. Hold so, on, no question. Alexa. Turn your volume up. We'll see, folks. Um, thanks for those stars. Uh, we are using star Alexa, money to buy these cookbooks. Something went wrong. Something went wrong, she said. That's, that's, that's her sign for ain't going to do it. Alexa. <laughs> uh, we'll, do, we'll use time. another timer or something. The next time I'll plan better and not depend on her. I get kind of dependent on her. Kathleen, thank you for those stars. We're going to use star money to purchase the church cookbooks from the church. We're going to pay for them, and then we're going to give them to you. So it's a perfect circle, and we love that. We, uh, we've we not received any star money. I don't even really know what all that's going to be, but we are going to use money from the stars to pay for the church cookbooks from the church. So what we're giving you on tonight, Mom and I, we're going to pay for out of the star money. So it's a wonderful thing. I think I'll make some biscuits tonight. I think, Connie, that would be good. Okay, so we are going to um, get started here. Mama's ready. She's got her flour. And uh, I'm going to go try to do the timer while you're doing that, Mama. You show them that. For supper, I had a cornbread hash. So that sounds good. I will be ordering a cookbook on Saturday, I hope. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, love biscuits, any kind. Ginger, I do too. All right, Mama, you ready? Well, it's two ingredients. It's two cups of self and flour. Mama. Ah. What you remember that, that sticky pad I told you I was going to put right there? I'm going to have to get it. Okay, I put one cup of flour in here already. And now I'm going to add the other cup of white lily self and flour. That's all I'm going to do. And how much of this whipping cream does it say? Right here, Mama. One and a half. It says two cups of self rising flour, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. Well, this is 16 
Okay, it's heavy, thick as it's a chicken for the cat. Two cups of flour, as solid says it needs. All I'm going to do now is just get this mixed up. I'm working at it. <laughs> What's it doing, Mama? Mm -hmm. I've got another time piece here. So I'm going to look at the clock right now. And in 10 minutes, I'm going to uh, give away a cookbook. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. We're so glad to have y'all here in the kitchen with us tonight. It's important to get together like this and to cook. Sometimes you'll watch a cooking video and you think, I think I'll fix that. And then you get around and you don't get it fixed. But this way, you can do it right now. You can do it with us. And it says flour your counter, but I'm flouring my... Forward. Any surface will work to flour. We've got one minute down. Ooh. Alexa, set nine minute timer. It don't want to come out of. It looks like it's on. The time's showing. The temperature's 57. I heard her while ago. It was just on too. She's not working. The internet must be low. We're having repairs done to a tower near here. And uh, they long. told me that they would have it done before long. We would be able to have uh, upgrade to 5G, which that'll be good, I think. But uh, we'll see. How long it takes them? Mama, how's that feel? Does it feel like you're normal? Uh, when you make biscuits, does it feel that same consistency? Well, I measured one and a half cups of, of a whipping cream. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's going to make it soft enough. Speak up a little, Mama. Make it soft enough or not. But I'm trying Mama to... is so soft-spoken. Y'all say that all the time. It's the truth, and she gets lower the longer she talks. Oh. Sometimes I whisper to her and she'll say, what? And I'll say, I thought you could hear really low sounds because that's the only one she make for me. <laughs> He's mean to me. Mama, you know it's the truth. They do too. Now, that's one thing they'll agree with. They can't hear you. All right, Mama's patting it out like they said. And um, down to, she's got it down to about a half an inch. And that's the way you do it, folks. Just and I'm not it. even getting a dough roller out because... I never use a dough roller because they are that awful. Turned out pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. They're awful messy to have to clean, and you can't let them get too wet. They have issues. Okay, now I'm gonna reach over here. I didn't get my cover. So here's the pan. Let's look how pretty and greased it is. Mama did good. Ah, right. let's lay that right there for her. Just we're making this cutter here is about a uh, um, two and a half inch cutter two and a half inches around but you do yours it's not gonna matter you know however round you want to make them that one's come out good mama mm -hmm. it didn't stick now when you're making biscuits look here in the pan you want to crowd them you want everybody together because that's what helps them helps them to rise now, I'm going to say something now that I probably get controversial. Oh, no, that ain't right, John. If you don't twist your cutter, they'll rise up straighter, in my opinion, and that's why I found them to be. Um, a lot of people will say, you twist. We don't twist because it'll twist the rise, too. Uh, if you cut them straight down, straight up, then your biscuit will come straighter up. It'll rise better. That is opinion only. Some of y'all are gonna say, mine does that not, but okay, that's great. Ours, we just, we've had it, and we, I've tried it both ways. And we find that maybe it's mind over matter, and mine don't matter. How's that sound? Mm -hmm. Sounds about right, don't mm -hmm. The church cookbook, 
Uh, if you're wanting to purchase one, every dime of the money goes to the church. It's $17, and that includes shipping and everything. And here it is. This is the front, and inside you'll find every category and every sheet, and every one of them has um, a cover page, and then behind it, like breads and rolls, behind it is helpful hints, all things about breads and rolls. In the back is measurement conversions, how to fold napkins, terms. It's a good 101 cooking book. Uh, it's not mine and mama's only. This is all the people from the church have donated recipes and put in here. I think we have six or eight recipes in here. We've been selling these for close to a year now, and uh, we appreciate y'all supporting the church. Uh, we appreciate all your kindness, and uh, we appreciate you for uh, buying the books. If you want a book, you can send a check or money order and send it to John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Jellicoe, Tennessee, 37762. That could have been backwards, so screenshot this way. So that's about the church cookbooks. And uh, we deposit every check and every money order, and it all goes straight into the bank. Come on, you need more room. My hands are clean. I can make more room, Mama. What's this? Just make all you can. Right there, look there. Look how much that made, folks. That made a lot of biscuits. Mama's still making biscuits. Well, this little fella here is just gonna go. Mama, you're like the woman in the Bible. Your your meal meal barrel ain't going empty. Now, that's what you want, folks. See how she's pressing those right in there? That's gonna make a good rice biscuit. Here's the baby biscuit coming up. I'm gonna push this one around. Push this one around. Scoot in, folks. Act like you love each other. Get over there. Push that one right there on that little corner. We've got us a pan full of biscuits. Goodness, right there. Now, I always, um, I guess you could take that right there, Mama. I always take a little bit of buttermilk when I make them. Put your hope in your hand, I'll pour. And I just pour a little bit in my hand like that right there. And then just pat on top of them. And what that does is it takes that dry flour look off and it helps them make them golden brown. You need some more, Mama? <coughs> Mama's allergic. Mama's allergic to biscuits. Oh, surely I don't look allergic to biscuits. <laughs> I just said that. I'd have to face a date. I couldn't think I couldn't eat no Couldn't more. eat a biscuit or biscuits. How sensual would your Mama? Uh, they probably don't like to eat with nobody but I would. You have to eat a little something every now and then. Okay, let's raise you all up here and see what y'all are saying. No twist is correct. Makes uh, better layers in the biscuits. Thank you for agreeing. Uh, I had heard that, read that somewhat. Maybe one of y'all told us um, a year or so back, and I thought, well, you know, that may, that sounds reasonable because the dough's wet, and if you press down and twist, you pinch your dough as you go in those directions. Then when it rises... It's going to rise in the, the way you twisted it. Uh, okay. Where are we Thank you, Brandy. That is right. That's what I think, too. Uh, never tried two ingredient business. We haven't either, Brenda. You're trying it right here tonight with us. We've never tried the two ingredients. Uh, I'm anxious awaiting a cookbook. Uh, Mama mailed out a bunch today. She got them to the post office today. Like I said earlier, we don't have a staff. We, it's me and Mama, and we both work and do other things. Mama takes care of all the church business. I work full-time, um, even working overtime. I'm not trying to get a sympathy party. I'm just saying we just got other stuff going on. So sometimes uh, we do the best we can, and uh, we always try to read comments. I always try to go through the um, through messages, Messenger and do all that. We never go a day without checking it. Usually that's how I wrap up my day and start my day. Uh, on Messenger. I missed what two ingredients. Uh, Amy, it was, um, let me get the check, let me get my cookbook just to give you the whole ingredient and the whole thing here. In case anyone else missed this, okay? It's on page 31 of your cookbook, if you have a cookbook already, up here at the top of the breads and rolls. And it was two cups of self rice and flour and one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. And that was it. That was the only two ingredients. You preheat your oven to 475. 
Uh, lightly cover your bread pan with butter or shortening. You mix the two ingredients until blended. Pour the dough onto a floured countertop. Gently pat the roll out to about one half inch thick. Cut out biscuits and place in a pan and bake for 10 to 12 minutes. Mama, it's 4.09 when you put them in there. That ain't right. That's the time. It's not 4.09. <laughs> it's it's 6.20 when you put them in there. That's the, that's the time of what a creature of habit. I looked at the microwave and whatever it says, what I said. No, it's not 4.09, folks. It's 6.21. It is not 4.09. We started at 6 o'clock. Yes, we did. Mama. Right on the dot. So that's the two ingredients that we're having tonight. Mama and I is going to spread it out a little bit and have some sawmill gravy, we call it, or just milk gravy. We use a, an on our recipe for our milk gravy. In a bowl, we put a half a can of evaporated milk, and then we add about the same amount of water, filtered tap water, out of the sink. And then we... Uh, get our gravy or grease over here. We we uh, cook our flour till it gets the brownness that we want, and then we pour that milk and water mixture into our skillet and we stir it up. In fact, we're going to do that right now while the sausage is cooking, the biscuits are cooking. We got just enough time to get the gravy getting hot, and uh, we're going to stir up some eggs. Okay, it's been ten minutes, and I'm going to look and I'm going to say. Uh, well, right here, I'm going to say, Brandy Clark Morton, send me your address, PM it, uh, Brandy, and we will send you a church cookbook. So, Brandy Clark Morton, you've won a church cookbook, this one right here, and we are going to send it out to you. So, PM me your address, Brandy, as soon as this video is over, and I'll gather them up, and we'll have them. So, Brandy Clark. Yay for Brandy Clark. Mama said, yay for you, Brandy. I'm going bacon tonight with my biscuits. Oh, yeah, Brandy, that sounds good. So, Brandy, you're the first winner tonight. PM me your address, and we will send you out a cookbook. Is Lexa going to do anything, Mama? She's not going You may have to talk about a replacement with her. Alexa. She responds and everything. Set timer. There was something went wrong, she said. Alexa, turn the volume up. Mama thinks it's the volume. It's really not because I've already heard her. She said she's having trouble. Brandy Clark Morton, PM me that address. Uh, I only need the people I call to PM. Um, I don't know Randy Clark's address. Randy oh, Clark. Oh, Randy Clark. Who's that? Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. She heard me say about that replacement, and she's like, I better, you know, I better quit I'm not sure on. what you wanted to change. Poor old thing. She's confused. She doesn't want to know what I want to change now. <laughs> Gotta love technology. I mean, technology opens doors for us and everything, but I just can't work it. And she's, she usually works right on top of things, but now tonight she's... Mm, you can't fix everything, can we, folks? Okay, so we got her working now. So when she goes off, we'll pick a name. All right. Mama's getting ready to do gravy. Sawmill gravy. The sausage is frying and the biscuits are baking. Sounds like breakfast is on the way. And we love breakfast for supper. I've got coffee. I'll have breakfast. Mm -mm. I had a friend one time used to say, he ate breakfast at night so he didn't have to get up so early the next morning. Breakfast or supper is one of our favorite things. Ask a list, ask what the problem is. I, felt like. I know I do that sometimes and she'll say, I do not understand. I don't understand what you're asking. Yes, Rebecca, breakfast for supper. It's one of my favorite. Uh, Joy says her Alexa says, oh, did I make yours go off? They said the other night my, I was making people's go off. Brenda Scott, I have to, yeah, I have to say, Brenda, tell her to start all over, but poor old thing, I'm still alive. She's beautiful. Uh, hey, Bonnie, how are you? I'm going to put about two tablespoons of flour in my 
Grace. So. Okay, Mama's saying, if you want to watch this for come over here, I'm already starting without you. And she is. She don't wait on us. I hope I didn't get y'all dizzy. Sorry. That's the thing about lives. Normally, I would pause right here and then come over. Now, this is, in this skillet was how much? Two tablespoons of grease? A little over one. A little over one. And usually you want to put the same amount of grease as you do uh, flour. So if you put two tablespoons of flour, you want to put two tablespoons of grease for the most part. I'm going to set y'all down because I think I'm moving. This way I can point you where I want you and you'll stay. Let's pull you up and out and over. Can y'all see Mama cooking now? Mama, can you see you in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the porting part. That's the porting part. Sorry. Mama. I forget about so you, for, you forget about uh, the noises, don't we? Yeah. So I'm just going to stir this up. This is just an iron skillet. And... Uh, I'm just using a tablespoon tonight. Sometimes I'll use a, a whisk or something. Now what you're doing now, as I've told y'all before, flour is raw. So you want to cook your flour. Get the salt and pepper if you your camera. You want to cook your flour to make sure it's done. We've got it so That's about a half a teaspoon of salt. Now, black pepper, I'm gonna put a little extra because we like it, don't we, Mama? Mm -hmm. You want a little more? Yeah, just a little bit. How's that? Speak it. Let me turn your volume. Let me turn your volume. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. That's good. Turn Mama's volume up. I'm gonna whip him right here in front of everybody. You gonna whip me, Mama? Mm -hmm. Surely not. Mama, you want six or eight eggs? Uh -huh. How many are you going to eat? Three, four, twelve? One. One? That surprises me, Mama. I can't eat over one if I'm going to have three. She knows how funny that is because I know she don't eat but one egg. And she'll say, don't fix me more than one. Every time, don't you, Mama? Yeah. Don't fix any more than one. Tell them what you're doing there, Mama. I'm just stirring this flour. And, and why are you stirring it? What color do you want it to get? Just like a golden brown? Or oh, yeah. A, your end product will be lighter than what your flour is. So if you like darker, then let it get pretty dark or you're going to have white gravy anyway. I got a great, great niece. She only wants white gravy. She won't eat a bite if it's brown. She wants Hardy's gravy, because that's what she's used to. Why gravy? She likes Hardy's gravy. <laughs> Folks, what have y'all been up to today? And what's the weather like where you're at? We're expecting, I looked it up because, well, my curiosity got a hold of me. We are expecting three to four inches. That is supposed to be warm the next day. It's supposed to be warm the day before. So I'm hoping it's not going to affect the roads in any way. And we're going to maintain our ability to come and go. I hate getting stranded in with the snow. It's not my favorite thing at all. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of evaporated milk in these scrambled eggs. It can help make them lighter and fluffier. And the, way it, the way it does that is it builds up steam, and then the steam puffs the eggs up, so you will have lighter, fluffier eggs. Be here to check on that sausage for us, please. Oh, one moment, Mama, I will. I can scoot over a little. Don't you do it, Mama. You stand right there. All right, I'm gonna get this butter. Yes, we keep our butter out. We keep it here near the stove. It's not on the stove. But that's where you need it. It's near the stove. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of butter to start these eggs. 
And this meal is going to be ready to eat in just a few. I bumped the phone. I hope I ain't. I don't know you didn't turn them off, did you? I don't know. I think so. Are y'all still on there? Yeah, Mama, you're on there. And see how brown that's getting? When we put this milk and cream in there, it's going to lighten back up. So even though it's dark right now, that's not going to be what it looks like the end product. Now you can pour the milk and water in place. This is water and evaporated milk. Mama's going to stir while I pour. Y'all just took a steam bath. Look at that. That would be so good for your skin. Your complexions will just glow tomorrow. It ain't helped mine too often. <laughs> well, Mama, you look young. Sure. Maybe that's what's, Mama, maybe that's your secret is steam off milk gravy. Steam off the cooking or anything. You reckon? Well, it could be. I got young hands. Look at there. Well, sure, Mama. I dig in dirt and whatever. You are young. You're just a youngin'. I think I'm going to mix too much milk for my... Are you thinking you're going to have to use some thickener? I'm going to have to do... A little cornstarch? Have to do something, I believe. My a little cornstarch? My eyes on the milk was a lot more than the flour I put in here. Folks, if you do, uh, you can use flour, but you can use cornstarch. That's not it. That's not it? The big one. This on one? Top. Mm -mm. Not that one? It's on top. You'll see it. Go on around. The yellow. Oh, I thought it was yellow. We use quite a bit of cornstarch. We keep it in a Tupperware canister we use so much. We always have used a lot of cornstarch. I'm going to make up a little. The biscuits just went off. I hard said she wants a brown it. And when you're doing a slurry or a thickener, you want to use cold water because you don't want any clumps. You want a good smooth slurry. Not much because it's a... Uh... We'll use about a tablespoon and a half. It's going to need a little bit more water. It makes it big. Yeah, you don't have to use it out. We may not. Here's your slurry. Use it at your will, Mama. I have got doors open. I can't get closed. I got eggs on. Biscuits in the oven. Woo! What did, what did folks used to say? I got too many irons in the fire. That's right. That's what I told you earlier. Too many irons. Can't control them all. <laughs> This is going to be scrambled eggs, sawmill gravy, biscuits, and sausage. And sausage. Oh, oh in the winter. Hold up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold the phone. Hold everything. We have a winner. Pim. Pim Wild, you are the winner. Pim Wild says her doctor yelled at her. Oh. Pam, well, PM me your address so we can get you. All right, Alexa, thank you. Stop. Pam Wild, PM me your address, please. Alexa, we're not going to replace you. You can stop. She took that serious. Okay, I'll call it a we're not going to replace you. You can stop. <laughs> Ten minutes, starting now. She, she already started the next 10 minutes. Boy, I'll tell you what, when you get her nervous, she straightens up. Pam Wild, I'm putting your name down. Pee me your address, and I will we'll get you a cookbook out. Uh, you're our second winner tonight, and she, I'm not going to say her name, is already got the next timer set. Now, that was some good. She, she took me serious. She got on the ball. Congratulations, Pam. All right, folks, we're already on our way to the next winter. I'm not going to whirl y'all back around over there because Mama's finishing up the eggs. She's got the gravy done. And uh, she's got it under control now. All right, 
So there is winner one and winner two. We love doing this. We love the opportunity to do appreciation uh, sentiments. I don't think I'm allowed to say some things in Facebook world. I think some things we're not allowed to say. Give away or something. I'll be real quiet. So anyhow, that's what we're doing tonight. And Mama has got, oh, I'm telling you what, folks. I'm looking right now at them two ingredient biscuits. And I can't wait for y'all to see them. I wish I could see your eyes. Mama's going to bring them over here right now. We're going to take a gander at them. This may be a whole new world. We may just love these so good that this is the only way we would ever consider making one. Who knows? Ooh, look how pretty. I'll let you put some butter on top. Now look at those biscuits, folks. Let me move my coffee. And look at that. Now those turned out beautiful. Beautiful. They, they really look like a big old pan of homemade biscuits, delicious as can be. I'll let you put some on the top I'm going to better the tops of them right now. Tell y'all in here where y'all can see. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to take a little on a, on a butter knife here, a case knife. And I'm going to, yes, we call it a case knife. I said that one night, and a bunch of people said, What did you call that knife? I don't know why. That's what they was calling it before I come along. <laughs> case knife. And, uh, that's what we've always called it. Uh, butter knife or case knife. Same thing. Nothing any different. Folks, I didn't get a Hey Mama joke tonight. So if you have a Hey Mama joke in your pocket, go ahead and share it with us. And we'd like to uh, share it with everybody. Um, some of y'all sent me some the other day. Mama said we had some in the mail. We're going to have to go through those real good and get them out too. Now that is butter biscuits. Now here's a little secret you can do if you want to. You can take your case knife and poke that biscuit just like that in the top and then put your glob of butter right on that where you poked it and you'll self butter that biscuit. It'll just go right down in that little hole and it'll just be a good butter biscuit full of goodness. I'm gonna do another one right here. Well, look at there, the butter on a hot knife don't stay on. We learned a lesson. That butter will go right down in that hole that I poked. And those will be two butter biscuits for what we'll call dessert. Because we'll put a little bit of jelly on them. See, it's already gone. There it goes. Put that knife right under there. It'll be good to go. Now here is our sausage. Well, I'm gonna brown it. Just Mama's right. gonna brown it a little bit more to pour a little bit of the grease off from it. And our eggs, look here at these golden, beautiful eggs. And uh, I think I'll put that over there. Mama will need a, Mama, you're gonna need a place to sit here. I'm gonna have to whittle out an area. Whittle out an area, oh my goodness. Ooh, did you hear that sizzle? That means hot. When your dish rag sizzles when you touch that pan handle. I mean, just hot, good hot. Hey, Janet, how are you? I can smell the biscuits, and they look, don't they look delicious? Uh, two ingredients and too easy. We're going to have to try these in a minute. Those look yummy. They are yummy, I'm sure. Those biscuits look tasty. They do, don't they, uh, Marguerite? Hey, Linda, how are you? I'm going to add it to, I'm going to add it on our list, too. We, this is the first time we ever made them. Those biscuits look beautiful. Brandy, I can't wait to let's try them. I bet you they taste beautiful. Now, Mama can make a good biscuit. I've never tasted a bad biscuit Mama made. So I didn't really expect these to taste bad in any way, but I really didn't expect them to be that easy either with two ingredients. I've heard of them. I need I'm, my right. You yes, ma'am. There you go. And you'll have them plates over here. We'll set the table. We'll be ready to eat. Uh, folks, this has been a great experience, these two biscuits. Two ingredient biscuits. Why do you call them two biscuits? Two ingredients. Two ingredient biscuits is what they really should be called here. Um, good and good for you. Good and good for you. I'm going to have to rearrange a little bit, Mama. Okay, here's your Something didn't work out. 
Right. Oh no, surely it yeah. didn't work out either. Back in the older days, around here anyway, and I'm talking older days, 50s. You don't know about 50s. 40s, back in then. Um, churches, everybody didn't have a pastor. A lot of times, um, one pastor might visit several churches. And um, someone would take them home after service on Sunday morning. They'd feed them lunch. And then they would uh, take them back to church that night. So Granny uh, had the responsibility of feeding the preacher one time. And uh, so Granny said the first thing that happened was uh, Dad wanted to say the blessing. So she said he shouldn't, she shouldn't have let him. She said, because here we had a visiting preacher. And she said, normally he would say, thank you, Lord, for the food, blah, blah, blah. So, said he was in a hurry to eat and said, he, she said, you, he wants to say the blessing. So, they sat down and Dad said, thank you, Lord, for this food. Help me to hear about it. Amen. <laughs> and Granny said, that embarrassed her to death. She said, and then later as the meal went on, said that preacher said he would take a roll and he would get some mashed potatoes and gravy. And she said, then he would get a roll and then he'd get a little bit more. And she said, he ate and ate and ate. And she said, she thought, wow, he is starved to death. And she said, uh, she said, can I fix you something else? He said, no, I just ain't able to get it to work out even. He said, I've either got too much mashed potatoes and gravy or I've got too much roll. He said, I'll get it in a minute. So if you want seconds or thirds, just say it's not working out even yet. So sometimes that's a good excuse. If it's good enough for the preacher, we'll use it too, I think. Mom, did you have to use them the slurry? A little. A little she did use. Because I got too much milk and water. Now sometimes, folks, you just have to use that. That's just a part of making gravy. Gravy of any kind that you want to make, including milk gravy. Just always use cool water and stir in your um, cornstarch. Mm. And you stir it up good and smooth. If you use hot water, it'll clump. And you'll have clumps in your gravy. So you don't want that. That gravy looks perfect, Mama. Thank you. I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, we're going to get over here and bless this and eat this. Here's the sausage from the micro pro grill. Mama, how long did it take total? What? Seven minutes, eight minutes on the sausage? I think so. Right? Look at that beautiful sausage. Mama, I'll fix you up a plate. Oh, let's not overdo me. Mama. That was one piece of sausage. She already hollering at me. Don't overdo it. Don't fix too much. Don't cook. Don't put too much in my plate. Now y'all saw how dark Mama had this gravy that, and you see it lightened up a whole lot. And let's check out for her how, um, I'm gonna try to put this on the bottom without spilling this down. Y'all don't laugh at me if I spill this whole thing of gravy up for her. Look here, it's just the right consistency. It's ribbony. That's what you want gravy, breakfast gravy to be. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. See how it ribbons off that spoon? That's what you want with some good milk gravy. That's what we want. What you looking for, Mama? Some of the cocoa is spilled. I don't know where it comes from. Don't cry over spilled cocoa, Mama. I've got a mess. <laughs> Well, I seen that a while ago, but I didn't want to say you nothing. Did. I seen it, but I didn't want to say, Mama, you got cocoa over here because I knew it might turn you into a tailspin. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that. She just went off. So, here we go. Holly Mae Wolf. Holly Mae Wolf, PM us your address. Um, says, your son loves business. Well, Holly, you can use this book and you can make him some. Now, I want to get a question. I'm trying to freeze you all up, and you all know I do it every time I touch it. Now, here I am trying to look for a holly, and it won't stop. <laughs> holly may well ping me your address. We're going to send you a church cookbook. You're our third winter. Winner. <laughs> I've got saying, winter on the mind. You've got snow on the brain. i got uh, winter on my mind. I feel my plate. I didn't feel yours. Holly may well ping me your address. 
we are going to send you a church cookbook. Alexa, start timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. See, she's right on it now. She, she, she's like, he said something about replacement. His <laughs> coffee breaks over. Okay. All right, Mama. I feel my place. I tell you what, let's do. Let's bless it, and then we will sample these biscuits, and then we'll, by then it'll be about 10 minutes, and we'll get off of here, and we'll eat, okay. and we'll let them go eat, because that's what we did tonight. We cooked supper together, so we could all eat, but we're going to eat together, too. Let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this meal. We thank you for the hands that prepared it. Dear Lord, we thank you for the blessings. Dear Lord, we pray tonight for each and every prayer request that's been turned in, each and every unspoken and spoken, dear Lord. We pray for our nation. We pray for our world, dear Lord. We just ask you to bless it and keep us all in your will and your glory. Amen. Amen. All right, folks. Time to test. Time to test that biscuit. I'm going to cut mine and look here. I'm going to let y'all see. Look at that. That looks good and tender and flaky. Oh, they are good. I'm shocked. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That is a good biscuit. They must be enough fat in that heavy whipping cream, cream to take care of. Hey, Linda from Georgia. All right, Sandra, I'm going to tell you a little secret here. They're delicious. When yours comes out of the oven, you're going to love them. They are delicious. <laughs> Look at that. Can y'all see it? So good. I think the recipe in there said Leanne Bowen. I think that's... Mm, mm, mm. That was a great ad. I'm going to save that biscuit. Wow. Now those two are better, Mom. Oh. I'm going to save that biscuit like it is. And then I'm going to get me a crumble biscuit. Now look at this biscuit. Look at that, folks. Look at that steam. That's a two-ingredient biscuit. I need some salt. We didn't hardly have the gravy salt in I tried to hold back just a touch, Mama. I know. You're doing good. I did good. I'm not going to do so good right now. I would hate to oversalt. I can't let you do about that. No. You can't take it off, but you can always add to you it. You can always add a little bit to it. We love this meal. My daddy loved this meal. Uh, breakfast, and I've looked forward to this all day long. I didn't eat much lunch because... I knew breakfast was coming, and breakfast is one of my favorite meals. And I thought, I'm going to eat a light lunch, and then I'll eat a good breakfast for tonight. Now, I love black pepper. Y'all know I love black pepper. So that gravy is heavy on the pepper with me. That's supper, folks. Look at that. Look at that little biscuit just hanging out there. He's so good. He's the star of the show tonight. I guess he figures, <laughs> you said that it needs a little salt. I'll trust yeah. you, Mama. Just go ahead and salt mine a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, that stove, man, my face red, Mama. I reckon you're far red. I don't feel red. I just look red on the camera. Must have been that steam bath. Oh, you did. You did much. I don't just know. the heat. The heat. It was the heat. That's what the sun does to you, too. It turns you red. It does. I'm allergic to the sun for some reason. It turns me just like this when I get outside and I get... It must be the skin. I don't know. Mmm. Mm. I could eat that every night. No, we couldn't. No, we couldn't. <laughs> but I would. That tastes delicious. I'm going to cut a little bit of this other biscuit. And I'm going to put my little piece of sausage on it. And a little bit of egg... And I'm going to see just how good a sausage egg biscuit with a two-ingredient biscuit would be. I know what you'll have for breakfast in the morning. You got that right, Mama. Make Mama's sausage egg biscuits. Instead of McMuffins, you'll have. McMama's is always the best. Y'all like leftover biscuits. Mmm. I'm really surprised at the biscuits, how good they are. It is good. Now, folks, you all follow this recipe. 
once you make these biscuits. Now, one, one key thing that's gonna make any biscuit tough and hard, and that is if you overwork it. Don't knead that dough, don't, don't work that dough a lot. Let that dough be. Fold it over a couple of times, make your half inch layer, pat it out, and cut it out, and let that be. Don't overwork your dough. That's a key. You see, Mama didn't overwork hers. Sometimes we see people kneading light bread or making dumplings, and we get to thinking, oh, I gotta really knead that dough. I gotta really push it. And pull, mm -mm. Not with biscuits. You don't wanna overwork that dough. I would love to hear from some of y'all who've never made biscuits or probably thought, I can't make biscuits. I'd love to hear what y'all say if you made them tonight. Uh, how good you did, how good they taste. Uh, if you cooked along with us, looks delicious. Vanessa, it is. Um, if you've made them, yours should be coming out of the oven too. Good times, good people. Good people. Thank you very much. Who said that? Thank you, Deanna. We enjoy coffee time. We enjoy you all. We want to keep it positive. We don't want anyone to Negativity, it just don't work, you know, and we want each and every one of y'all, we want y'all to spread this out to all your friends, but if someone comes on here and they're being negative, or especially if they're going to be rude to you all, or if they're going to be trolls and be asking you all out or asking you all to contact, we're going to ban them. I mean, that's just, that's just the way it is. If you can't be an adult and play by the rules, then we don't want that foolishness. This is no drama. This is all about uh, lighthearted fun and enjoying and taking a break from the world. We don't need to break in the world in here with us during our break. So remember that. Um, see here, Donna says, I'll never, wait, 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 wait. I've never made, I'm, Donna, you keep flashing. I've never made biscuits better in toast than in the oven, delicious, Kim. I split my leftover biscuits, butter and toast them in the oven. That would be good to butter and toast them. Give a little crunch and that fresh butter and get them good and warm. Hadn't tried that. Donna was saying something. And Donna, I think I lost you. I don't know how Facebook works their messages. Mm -mm. Maggie, Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> Maggie, you can't eat whatever that is, honey. Maggie, so they're trying to see what she can find. It's a little bit of that cocoa. Maggie, that puppy's like you don't get cocoa, ever. She didn't she's get any. <laughs> but she was headed for it, and now she's looking at me and Mama with a little bit of judgment. A little bit of judgment. Like, why are you harming me? Because she uses the opposite will harm. So Maggie, we've dropped a little piece of something. I'm 68 years old and make biscuits almost every morning. Ray, that sounds awesome. Do you make them for, for you and the family or Mama? Maggie, no. Mm -mm. Maggie, Mama's going to get you. You can't have that cocoa. You can't have that cocoa. I may have spilled that when I said the cornstarch, Mama. You might have. Now that I'm observing, it may have, but I, I didn't see a can of cornstarch or a can of cocoa in there. I don't know where it came from. Mama, is that that bag of cocoa you got the other day? Not a bit. Because I ain't found it. We got a bag of cocoa. We need to get back cocoa, Hershey's cocoa. They switched to a bag, no more can. Well, I don't know at that, that one store I got if that's what they had. At least at the store that we go to. I tell Mama, I said, maybe that's a different thing. Y'all know anything about that? I don't believe you all are from Tennessee. You are. I don't believe you all are from Tennessee. You are my family from Eastern Kentucky. We eat just a lot. Vicki, Eastern Kentucky and Tennessee. We're the same with different names. It's the same thing. Uh, Eastern Kentucky, that's our home 
we consider Williamsburg and Corbin part of our hometown because we shop there, we go there. Uh, about everybody from here goes there. And Alexis okay, says 10 minutes is up. And here we are. <coughs> Bobby, <coughs> uh, CAU, Alexa, stop. Bobby, C-A-U-D-I, is that, is it, how do you pronounce that, Bobby? I don't want to destroy your name. Is it Cottle, C-A-U-D-L-E? Bobby Cottle, send us your PME, your address, and we're going to send you out a, a church cookbook. Bobby, I'm going to write your name down, and as soon as this is over, I'm going to go look for all these, uh, these four addresses. A-A-U-D-L-E. And uh, send us your PMS that, and we will get you a cookbook out. All right. I am by myself. Let's see who's talking. I'm by myself now, widowed, so cooking is a challenge for me. Kim, uh, Kim Austin, we understand that. Even just with Liz and Dad, Mama had to change her whole way of cooking. And um, Mama was used to cooking for all the kids at school. I've worked in restaurants. So when we used to cook, we used, we've catered for 250 people before. Uh, we have cooked for more large crowds than we do small crowds. It is hard. Uh, but Kim, I would suggest find you some stuff that freezes good Black biscuits, you can freeze biscuit dough just like you buy frozen biscuits. Um, but make them and freeze them. You can freeze them after you cook them or freeze them before you cook them. And um, you can just pull them out as you go. You make one batch and make it do. Make a half a batch. Make That's a half a, a batch. Way that one. Use only one cup of flour instead of a one and a half cups of the heavy whipping cream. Use three fourths of the cook, and that will come out just half as many biscuits. And they'll say, you know, you can eat them for two or three days, they won't spoil. Uh, but other things like soups, go ahead and make your pot of soup. Just portion it out, share it with a friend, and put you a couple of containers in there for frozen. Those that you don't want to cook, you'll have something. Mama had to learn that lesson. Uh, another lesson Mama had to learn was uh, one mess, two meals. If you're going to make a meatloaf, Make enough for two loaves, put one in the freezer. You're already making the mess, you're already cutting up all the stuff, all the prep time. You can put one in the freezer, put a date on it, and you'll have it for another night. Same way with chicken pot pie, or chicken casserole, all those things. You can make two meals out of those. I suggest buying some of those wonderful containers. You can get them at the dollar store, you can get them at uh, even the family dollar or the, uh, uh, the Dollar General. Uh, get those on the pan things, wrap them up good, and you'll have two meals, one mess. Uh, Mama never used to use anything frozen, and as Dad got older and his sickness, she even learned there were some frozen meals out there that he absolutely loved. He loved some, th some kind of old steak. Was it Salisbury? Salisbury steak. He loved that steak, and that was a good little lunch for him. Mama was cooking breakfast, lunch, and supper. Because he was here and she felt like, you know, he needed a hot meal three times a day, which he did. I said, Mama, there's other hot meals. He did like uh, the Tyson chicken tenderloin. That was an easy uh, frozen thing we could go with. Now, we're not frozen eating people for the most part. But some nights, it's easy. It's quick. Sometimes those Tyson chicken tenderloins, fix them and cut them up on a salad is a lifesaver. And it's delicious. Sometimes make some homemade mashed potatoes, open up a can of green beans, and use those tacos and chicken tuna. We do that, don't we, Mama? Yeah. It's good. Find those things you like that's frozen. We like to and use a them. piece of that chicken on our spaghetti and eat it that way. Mm-hmm. It's very good. So, I guess my point is, don't beat yourself up if every meal you eat or every meal you prepare for your family is not made from scratch and homemade. Things have changed to a point where there are some good things out there you can choose, and there's even healthy frozen meals. 
Now, Mom and I have uh, recently tried a few um, in our local place, like orange chicken. It was pretty good. Um, we got some, one, though, that wasn't too good. It was rice and something and chicken. Sure, but just try them every once in a while, and you'll find one you like. <laughs> and go with it. We had a preacher one time. This is when Dawn was yet alive and stuff. <clears throat> he said, that gravy and biscuits, I'd fix it if it was just for me. And after Dawn had been gone for, oh, it had been a pretty good while, I seen him and he said, I want to ask you something. And I said, what's that? He said, do you ever make biscuits and gravy just for you? And I said, yeah, I sure do. When I want them, I make them just for me. And he said, well, I can remember you saying that, and I wanted to ask you, did you? I said, yeah, just because there's one is no reason not to cook and fix stuff that you like and want. So I do. I had a great aunt, and I don't even remember her husband, and she probably was 20-some years without him. Every day. She got up and cooked a meal, just like she was still for her, uh, I think she had five children. They all had grown up and went on, but every day she got up and cooked a meal. Now she made small portions, half cans of peas, half cans of stuff, one potato mash. She learned that she had a good hot meal. What are you all, what did I say? What are you all eating tonight? Brenda Moore, we are eating breakfast. We fixed, we cooked together. Uh, with all the folks that wanted to cook with us tonight, and we made these wonderful two-ingredient biscuits. And let me tell you, they're delicious. They're on page 31 of our church cookbook. They are out of this world. We will be fixing them again, I promise. And uh, we just throw some scrambled eggs and some sausage and some milk gravy with it. Some milk gravy. And we made breakfast for supper. And a lot of these folks made the same thing, I guess. Um, anybody, Anybody's tried your biscuits yet? Anybody's biscuits out of the oven? I'd love to hear from y'all. If not, even after we end the live, comment what your biscuits were like. Y'all may want to watch this video and then make them later. But it was fun. It's been fun to um, be with y'all tonight. Let me go over the... We have four winners. winners Brandy Clark Morton, Pam Wild, Holly Mae Wolf, and uh, Bobby Cadell. Send us your addresses, you four. PM them. I'll be looking for them as soon as this live goes off. And we'll gather them up and we'll get your cookbook out. Uh, so we will we'll be chatting with you on the message. So I guess Mama, do anybody have a Hey Mama joke on here? I'm not seeing one scroll by. But like I said, we don't see every comment. I don't know how they got it set up. <laughs> I really don't know how they have it set up. Mine are delicious, Kelly says. They are, aren't they, Kelly? Are you surprised as we were? I was totally surprised. Those biscuits are not better than good old buttermilk biscuits. Did you try them, Amber, or are you just thinking that? They probably are a little different than a good old buttermilk biscuit. I love buttermilk biscuits. Um, but I they are very good. good. Very good. Thanks, Leanne Bowling, for... Biscuits turned out great, Rose. Yeah, they are good. And, you know, as I was tasting that one... I think these would be good biscuits for lunch or for um, for dinner. You know, like if you were having say cube steak and mashed potatoes and green beans, this would be a good dinner biscuit too. Because mm -hmm. it's light and it's flaky. It's got a uh, similar to a roll too. Probably, but it still tastes like a biscuit. It's good. Oh, yeah. I'll be I'll fix them again. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Joanne, that Mama knew that one. Uh, I'm having pineapple and cottage cheese. Now that's that's an old memory for me, Kimberly Richmond. My granny <clears throat> loved that for a snack, and she probably thought I loved it more than I did. <laughs> but every night I would spend the night with Granny. She said, "I'm gonna make us some cottage cheese and pineapple." So, honestly, in the beginning, I wasn't crazy over it, but I ate it. <laughs> and then by the time I was grown, I loved it. And I still love it. Hey, Shirley. Thank you all for jumping on. Hey, Susan. 
Yes, my biscuits are light and tender and taste so good. I think everybody's a little bit su surprised at how good they are. They're light and they are tender. Miss my mama said there must be enough fat in that heavy whipping cream to do the job of what we use to put butter in and shorten in and buttermilk in. Uh, we enjoyed having y'all here tonight. We love it when we can cook together. And uh, we'll be doing some more cook-alongs and we'll be doing some more uh, um, cookbooks. I, I've been saying it all night, but it just left me. Um, <clears throat> and we love <laughs> that I didn't choke to death on that black pepper. We love that we were able to give cookbooks out. Thank y'all for the stars. Uh, <clears throat> we love the idea that we can use the star money to purchase the cookbooks from the church. That helps. That helps the church out, and then we're able to uh, give them to you as appreciation gifts, and we thank y'all so much. Uh, keep spreading our page out. We're growing. We've, we had a, a spurt this month, and we're, we're just tickled to death. We thank you all for being with us. You all are like family to us, and when we're together like this, we truly do feel like you're right here in the kitchen with us. Oh, yeah. And because of you all is really one of the reasons we don't do many pre-recorded videos anymore, because when we're doing a pre-recorded one, we miss seeing your comments. Uh, and we feel like something's missing, and it is. It's you. And uh, you all make it much better. And we thank you for being here. And thank you for being here tonight uh, with us for this cook-along. It's been great. Have a great day tomorrow. I think tomorrow here it's supposed to be warm, but we are supposed to get three to four inches <coughs> of snow. Mercy, mercy. But it's supposed to be warm enough to melt it off rather quickly. So if we do get snow, thank you for those stars. If we do get snow, be safe and be careful. And it's just meant to be, and we'll take it. We'll take it. And then it'll be spring for good before long, and then it'll be right into summer, and we'll enjoy that so much. So y'all have a great night. Make you some memories. Find you something good to eat if you haven't already. And if you want to try this uh, biscuit re recipe after a while, we recommend it. it. We recommend it. So we're going to say good night, y'all. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you. And so, bye bye. God bless y'all. Y'all have a great night.